Kinski, and uh, I'm glad he's here with us today. So before we do our thing, I'm going to introduce Mayor Ramsey. Uh, he is the uh, chef professor, but he has been the coordinator of the culinary program. So he's perhaps the best person I can bring here who can answer any questions we may have regarding uh, what the uh, what we can expect from the kitchen side uh, the day of our events. Uh, he's also the liaison. So basically, uh, I'm, we're going to share some information with Mario, and then uh, my goal is to connect you as soon as possible with the student uh, uh, chefs. So basically, you can make that connection and start planning the menu. So we'll talk about all of those things, but uh, first I'm going to introduce Mario. Hey, guys. Hello. Um, so we're doing this? Yeah, we're doing this again. Okay. <laughs> okay, what we've done um, in the past, in the past, it was something totally different, where you'd be always the two nights be the same. Basically, it'll be Monday and Tuesday, where you'll be doing your function. And it'll be not fair for the culinary student, because you'll be doing something like for three or four weeks in the role of event for ADHTM. What we've done is we switched this now, and we discussed it, and we started last year. What we've done is um, six nights, and we did the first time, and poor Elias, uh, he was dead by the time we get Thursday or Friday because every night we had an event. And of course he had to be there, mark you guys, make sure everything is okay, blah, 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 blah. And we did it, but the thing what I liked about it though is one every night. So we have came up with another compromise to make it easier for everybody. So there's gonna be something on a Monday, Tuesday, um, and Saturday, and something on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something like this where three in the week 12, three in week 13. The idea is now it's gonna run in two weeks, but it will be not exhausting for the people looking after your event. And what's good for you guys, because I understand you'll be helping each other as well in some of these functions. <laughs> My student that I chose for these, and uh, the way I've done it is uh, the gallery student, uh, we started last semester. That's been, what we did is we took the best student they were in practical class, but also they have to be above average for at least a B plus in the computation that. So they have a project to do. The project they have to do, they have to come up with a menu, they have to come up with a recipe, and they have to come up with a costing, and then they have to come up with an equipment list and drawing, huge project, okay? I will not ask it here because it's, it's quite big. So um, the students that are paid for these, uh, because they want to do it, they, they ate kind of uh, people, their personality, and uh, they, they, they have to drive. Um, each one has been, uh, been assigned a week, so they all have a different week, and it's been Monday through Saturday. For example, my student on this one here, Leah, uh, will be looking at um, on the function for that night and making sure everything is fine. One thing we're going to do today, if it's okay with all of you, I'll be a culinary student, he'll be a BHTM student. Okay? <coughs> One thing is, uh, for some of you who work in the industry, you know there's an issue, but some of you don't work in the industry and you're going to be the contact person. If you're going to be, for example, the catering manager dealing with the chef, okay? It's, one thing is very important is you work together, <coughs> okay? Personality is at the door. Personality for my chef or for you, we don't need this. Our goal, me and you, I mean, Elias and myself, sorry girls and guys, but we're gonna have the best event. That's what we plan to do. If we're going to do the best event, we have to work together. So, the student already made menus. The menu, the project, they've done it. So, if you decide, for example, as you're sitting down, and then you say, okay, we'd like to do this and this, they open to it, they already know. But sky is not the limit. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure that we agree on agree. For example, the way the menu can be set up for the event. Have you talked about it? Uh, not yet. Should I? Oh, no. Should we? Uh, oh, uh, Today I'm talking about the menu. Okay. Yeah. So the idea is this, by having the menu, they'll be open to uh, some flexibility, okay? But don't forget, they are students as well, and the class run our student from three hours a day before for prep, and then six hours for service, and if you want a lot of things, you might not be able to. 
So I'll give you an example of what I did last year. I sat with Jordan. Jordan was my chef for the day, and she had the function that night. That's me. I said, you're going to have a meeting. I want to join your first meeting. I sat there, and the group of six, I believe, or seven, we all sat there in the back of the, um, uh, the bookstore where they had the tea plates and stuff like that. We all sat there, and, uh, and I just sat there. I didn't say a word. I said a couple things, hi, bye, that's it. But I just listened. Because one thing is important, that if you are intent to go in a certain direction, and there's going to be an issue, you'd rather fix the problem when it's that big, instead of the night of, okay? An example could be, um, you really want rack of lamb. It's not on the menu, okay? It's not. Because when we order your food, we have to go through the receiving department, they order your food. The protein that we has to have some similarity. Sky's on the limit. So there's the protein that you're going to pick and choose is giving on the list which uh, Ilyas will pass you. Which you got, right? Yeah. I'll share with you. <laughs> Maybe. So the idea is um, we give you, we, we met back in December, Ilyas uh, and, uh, and me and myself. We, uh, we developed a fish we as far as protein. That's beginning of a choice of two fish, two uh, poultry, and two meat. It doesn't mean you have one of each, okay? It just means, it just, in that week, you're going to have this and this, a fish or that one here. So, uh, the first class decided to take a salmon while we want the trout instead. Okay? So, it could be the meat, could be the veal, or the other beef, and something like that. But you want to make sure that you have a great function. The function is not only the food. You invent that night is everything. Okay? And when you look at everything, is is the way you organize yourself, the way the menu is, and everything else. That's me, I make sure that you understand that part. So, as far as food, we'll give you as much as possible as what you can or what we can. The budget we have to work with, it's pretty fair, it's not a problem. Okay, so the number you have to work with on Monday through Saturday is about the 80 range, right? That's the plan. Yeah. So, on the 80 range, uh, is not an issue to the banquet. The issue is when you have the odd number. For some of you who work in the Restaurant International, and so on, you understand that if you do a banquet, and now I said, okay, I got uh, two celiac, one, uh, one salt-free, and then I have to know when it has a vegetarian, and then I have another one, another one. You gotta make sure that we know that kind of stuff ahead of time, no surprise, but you gotta make sure that everything is fair. Another thing I wanted to check with you, um, a lot of events are happening uh, during the week, so yeah. we are gonna have, I suspect, people showing up after work. The format is four course dinner. Yeah. Can we drop a course? and replace it with reception food. Fantastic idea. So you like that? I love it. And the thing is, um, especially for our students, where our class finished at 9, uh, we don't want people to go home by 11 o'clock and I'm sure the, your student as well, right? Yeah. Um, another question. In terms of style of service, would you prefer to have food placed on a table or have it passed around? Pass around, I think, is better. Uh, in this way, if there's an issue with the product, you can go ahead of time. For example, if you just decide to, to pick a beef and we do roast, and then some of the table might go for well done to rare and stuff like that, the waiter or the server will see, oh, that's a rare one, uh, that's been more a rare one. So if you put everything on the table there, uh, some people pick and choose. Um, some aspect of it is a great idea if you have an appetizer on the front, but if you want to do a preset. The reason we do preset in, in, the, in my other life is for speed of service. And speed of service is, that means it's an extra tenderness we have to play with. So, if we go back here, you want to do, a, you don't want to do a reception before? I'm just playing, at this point, I'm exploring options. Okay, that means if we talk options, so we can establish the option. I'm talking like a chef here, I need to know <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> it's black or white. <laughs> so, um, what time do you, you want to start? Let's say, um, starting at 5, 5.30. 5.30, yeah. sounds good. Okay, at 5.30, would you use the, the lobby? I prefer to use the lobby, so they can spend an hour there before they spend the rest of the night. In the so you rest. expect dinner at 6.30 then? Right. Yes. Okay, that means if we do this, would you, you probably want some food, because I'm assuming you're gonna have a bar, right? Absolutely. And, and the bars will be wine and so on, okay. That means now, um, the style of food, does it matter if you do hot or cold? Or I would like a combination. A combination? Yes, yeah. I'm vegetarian if possible. But yes. I was thinking to keep the, the number, the, uh, 
keep the variety fairly low so I can give them more of two or three things as opposed to give them one bite of something that w will not pass around again. Yeah, okay. Do you recommend been, how many, no, no problem. Yeah. Uh, it's a good way to start right now. That's when you're looking at how many choices. Yeah. So I would say two, three choices, not more. Two, three choices, yeah. perfect. So I can give them lots of those two, three choices. Yeah. Would you like, okay, I mean, picky here, you want too cold or too hot? Maybe one cold, too hot. Okay. More flexible. I'm very flexible, but um, in my experience, what my chef used to tell me, if you're going to do hot food, yeah. uh, quite often you get cold very quickly by the time you get to the people there. I will do, I probably go one cold, two, uh, two cold, one hot. Two cold. Very good. Yeah. yeah, if you want to, I'm okay with that. Good advice. So now, um, uh, one thing I'm worried about talking to you, I heard in the past, would you have a theme? Uh, for sure, a theme and oh, for sure. entertainment. Um, no. Going back, actually, now that you mentioned theme, um, do we have flexibility in terms of the final result? Like chicken is chicken, but can we use Creole spices to give it the, the Louisiana theme, for example? Uh, as long as I go ahead of time, I can work with it, okay? And uh, if you decide to go to Louisiana, it'll be Louisiana the whole night. But as you know, you're gonna go, oh, you know, maybe one or two protein at the oh. end of the night. Is, is that your intention? Yeah, I'm worried with that. Or is it still under? I mean, we're exploring our own. <laughs> the other thing I, I have for you is um, when you have events and you have people from the, uh, the charity who are expected to make announcements, we may have a small delay. Uh, is there a certain cooking method you would like to promote that allows for food to retain its proper temperature? Put it this way, your fish can be handled very well if you are going to have delay. Uh, as you know, your fish is either Cook properly, and so we cook. So um, I would stay away probably on the fish. If you intend to have a lot of timing issue, um, you know, the old days of chicken always been the good things to do, but it's kind of boring in a way, but we can make a special way for you. That's mean, um, I would stay away more of the fish part of it being either poached, roast, and stuff like that, okay? Um, protein in general can hold very well. Recite the fish. The other question I have for you: Would we be able to offer a variety to our guests within a course, i.e., three mini desserts, as opposed to a large chocolate cake? We could. <laughs> we could. <laughs> we, <won't. laughs> we could. It depends what the menu like, because the manpower we have in the back, we can handle only so many touches. Um, this is my class, our class right now. They are there last year, they're graduating, okay? And as you know, we have A++ and we have DB-, meaning is, you know, that there's some there. That's been, uh, depend the mix of uh, the, the group in the class, depend how they like on Monday or on Tuesday and Wednesday, um, you can raise them on it for so much. That's been now, for having three, um, it's not a big deal and depend what you have, because some of it, for example, if you decide to have a crevely in one aspect of it, and a slice of, uh, you know, maybe some chocolate cake or something, flourless chocolate cake, and then the issue will be the little between here, if you have in mind a sherbet or ice cream. The sherbet ice cream that we have to put inside of a bowl, but I personally never like to do this because it's quite tacky, and it'd be nice to have on the trail or something like that. And if we have a data, this is worse than the salmon. <laughs> Otherwise, what we have is we have a soup, a cold soup. We can serve bread. And they can eat it. <laughs> okay, it's called trill. <laughs> I have another question for you. Yes. How many days in advance do you expect to receive a number in terms of the tickets we have sold? <coughs> the law has changed. The law of the, of the purchasing department, we used to be able to do eight days, and now, it's 10 days, but the 10 days is 10 working days. It's basically two weeks. two weeks. You know what? It's so better, it's much better for all of you. You know what? Because you have to be organized two weeks before. Mm -hmm. And because I can tell you, uh, right now, it is very challenging for each one of us with our function right now to get that. All the calls are from every student, finalize them. But in your case, yeah, 21 days. 21 days, even better. <laughs> Another question. Is there a certain percentage that you have in your mind that you overproduce? Like you expect 80 people, are you gonna cook for 80 or there is a certain percentage? 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%,
10% more. 10% will do for 88. And this is where the issue is. If you decide to have protein, two type of protein, two different type of protein for uh, you have your choice and so to sell, um, it's very tricky now because at that point there, we have to order extras on everything. That's mean the best way for you is to sell out first of all, and then and hopefully uh, minimize the choices and, and so on. Because the bottom line is, in this business, it's cost. That's it. So we plan when we sell the tickets to provide the options and have people commute to what If you want to. I know my class, they didn't do it. Uh, last year, uh, three at last did some choices, three the one did do. And it's the pen. If you want a fast and efficient service, no choices. You can always, for example, in the, in the Restaurant International, no matter what, it's always vegetarian, no matter what. And then your protein. That's mean if you want to add enough protein to this, that's mean that's gonna be an extra thing that we have to place. And if for some of you work in the restaurant, you're gonna pick up uh, table five. I want one vegetarian, one chicken, eight beef. Okay, now you're collecting, waiting for the chicken and beef and stuff like that because it has to be synchronized together. That's mean if you intend to go higher the number, the less choice, you have an efficient service. Very efficient. Now, my crazy prop wants yeah, I me to cost my menu. Can I count on you giving me the recipe so I have something to work? Yeah, you may have your recipe, and the recipe is a good chance, and uh, depend how much it is. Right now, I did all my homework, all my menus are done, but as long as I don't have a, a crazy um, not student, <laughs> but the catering manager, uh, because it is a lot of work, I'll provide you with the recipe, because you're probably gonna have a recipe within um, three weeks. Fair enough. One to three weeks. Do you have any questions for me? No, I think uh, looking by past experience, um, as long the uh, we have one person representative from the service for the, uh, if you have, what do you call it, uh, some choices on the meal, uh, it would be great to have your catering manager in the kitchen there. And uh, if you have a chance to see the video that my chef did for my event last year, you may show to the class so they can see the students spend some time in the back and just controlling the line between the chefs. And it worked really, really good. Excellent. Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> the reason we do this is it just it worked much better than <coughs> giving back and forth. And I hope in your mind you put your, your position in this place and what question you're going to ask to the student. Okay? The, the thing is, you have to think about them. We're here to work together, okay? Uh, I'll give you two examples that didn't go too well in the last five years. One person thought she was the Mrs. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are going to approach anybody who's serious about cooking, <coughs> pride goes right there. That's mean when a female Trump talked to a female chef, there was no discussion. It was war, okay? So, sheer war. That's mean the student, the way you're going to talk to, just talk to them, and I know you have a lot of pressure to perform and stuff like that, but the problem is that the, 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 the thing you want to do is do the best you can, and we'll go there. They'll be organized, uh, most of them are super organized, maybe a little bit nervous, and so on, but uh, you know, I, and some of them might be international student, who a bit uh, not aware of all the intricate of what you're looking for because Louisiana, where is this? So the idea is um, I'm going to ask because the reason the one thing is we're doing right now. Where's my tape? Oh, it's right there. You taping it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you are taping on yours? Yeah, yours ran out of storage. Did you press the wrong uh, okay. I did. Yeah, I'm taping it so I can share with the other teachers that what we've done here today, so there's no surprise, and uh, and then we. Um, you know, we, we go this way. They're going to take notes and stuff like that. They can laugh at us. Oh, they, they do that anyways, so you don't have to uh, give them permission. Uh, no uh, Facebook. <laughs> now, is there any question you have in your mind that I haven't asked? Now that Mary is still here. Okay. How many of you... Oh, sorry. So, for vegetarian options, do you have a set list? Or... Yeah, what we do is we create, yeah. for example, each student, when they create a menu, they came up with a vegetarian dish. Maybe it will not go for your team, maybe it will go for your thing. For example, if there's something curry into it, and you're doing a Mexican dish, a Mexican thing, not that you would do, but it, it will not go very well. That's mean the student will change it, and they'll be more than happy to change. But the set, it's whatever they come up with. 
What we're doing most of our menu from, we're using PPM, which is Pearson Kitchen Manager, and they go uh, and they have a selection about eight books from cooking books, professional books, and I worked with them last semester on that, so they're picking vegetarian dishes from there, and some of it is probably from mom and dad if they are from different countries and stuff like that. That's been uh, the sit vegetarian will do as far as recipe. It's uh, it's is a creation from from the chef if you want to, and the number will be up to you. If none of you are coming up with vegetarian, and we have 80 people, we will do 10 vegetarian on standby just in case. Because the worst thing is 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 like I don't know if you ever sat in a, in a restaurant where you're on the line and then someone's uh, picking up 80 and out of the 80 it says, oh, and again there, I got, oh, this one here is a vision, this one is no shrimp, this one is no that, this is no that. Uh, the right word, I want to see it, but it's not nice. Okay, that's mean, just if you well organized and if you have the, your catering manager on the front, it does help a lot, it does help a lot, okay? Uh, these are still going. Um, I know you're saying there I'll tell you one thing, but right now, most of uh, most of you work in restaurant international, I do have a problem here and it's not selective. What was the question? So the question is uh, uh, ingredients other than the protein, whether they have flexibility. Is this what you're saying? Well there's a list right now. For example, you have two fish on the on the week twelve, two fish on week thirteen, one is halibut, one is on salmon, the other one is salmon and I think a trout. And then the chicken could be chicken cornish hen and then chicken with something else. So the idea is uh, you know, we give you enough dairy eating but it's not six on, on the menu. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we could drop, let's say, rice and go with vegetables if we think it's a better starch for the protein. Is this what you're Well, asking? the starch and the protein and stuff like that will be done. The student chef's already done a lot of these menus. Um, if I can, I don't know how much time do I have, but I can load up the project they have. It's quite extensive. Um, just the, the project for the, the word on the recipe, I'm not thinking it's about 30 page, including cover page, menus, and rep recipe breakdown, and the costing is not better. And the costing, no, you will not have the costing because that's nothing to do, the pricing is not relevant to you, but also um, all the recipe will be changed to what you need. The student, I'm gonna ask them to do when they do the recipe, if they have to change two things, I will tell them they can move away from the, from the costing Excel and then work on this. Uh, we'll be able, for us it's a cover cost, and uh, we can go from there. Did we answer your question? Perfect, yeah. thank you. Okay. You okay? Yep. Thank you. Sorry about that, but I do have a ring problem. <laughs> you can ask questions because I got my translator here. <laughs> so, <laughs> anything else, any other questions? <laughs> Do you guys determine the bar stuff as well? Or the, the bar stuff? Yeah, it's more yeah. you have to use as much as possible what they already have at restaurants and that's all. I mean, you can know if there is a specific product you want to bring, you go to Kathy and you say we're doing, let's say, we decide. Are you talking food product? Uh, it's beverages, right? Yeah, I was asking. Yeah, oh, beverage. Yeah. So if, you're, if you decided with the culinary side to do Tuscany and you want to bring a wine from that region and we don't have it, you, do, you go to Kathy, Kathy, we need a case of that wine, give her a few days uh, notice, it's going to be there. Um, so we had an idea of doing um, like ice cream floats for a bar. So that's kind of like kitchen and bar. So we're just wondering. Ice cream floats. Mm -hmm. That sounds very floaty. <laughs> you know, like what exactly is that? and make it easier for us, like go to all those and... Yeah. No, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. That's the only thing, sorry. Talking bar something. But keep in mind that a lot of things can be outsourced. Uh, yes, we have 12 50 for food, but uh, you also have, depending on the ticket price, more money to cover other incidentals. So if you only need, let's say, a tiny portion of ice cream times 80, it may be easier to buy four or six tubs of ice cream from the supermarket. Why would you buy ice cream? Because we're trying to make root beer floats. We make ice cream. 
But that's what I'm, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, we make ice cream, but I will not. The thing on the function for 80 people is very challenging to serve ice cream. Okay. Very challenging. Um, for any of you who work in a restaurant, or banquet and stuff like that, sherbet ice cream, sherbet melt much faster than ice creams, will do ice cream, it's not an issue. But the issue you have is if it's, we have a, a, a speech going on, and then I, it happened maybe, I'll serve ice cream, it's not an issue. But if the timing is wrong between the front and the back, where speeches, okay, well, what do I do? Do I take all the ice cream out on the plate? And if you see the way it's done in Restaurant International, all the plates are tray down on the, on the table, and you say pick up, that's a magic word, the ice cream goes down. Oh, no, not anymore. And the ice cream goes go back. But if you do something with, it, with something that can be standing room temperature that's not frozen or, or cold, we have a 10, five, 10 minutes option. You guys laughing in front, that makes sense? <laughs> yes. Okay, they work in Restaurant International as well. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is, um, I'm just trying to alleviate mega issue. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, would you serve um, frog legs to your group, miss? Would you serve frog legs to your group? No. Why not? Well, it's fabulous. For 5% of the world, it's fabulous. <laughs> so the idea is you're going to make sure that we, it's not sometimes your like and dislike, but it has to be what is the norm so we have a great event. To do a dinner, for 80 people, it's not a la carte. That means there's nothing in shoot. 80, you want to be more standardized because it's a machine, it's a production. Okay. So ice cream, maybe. Now, the other question is, how much work do I give to the kitchen? If, I, if we were going to do, let's say, four ups, and we have an, a salad, and we have a soup, and they're going to do three different desserts, and we have a, three main dishes and different sauces, can they also handle another ingredient. So it's a matter of, do I have the number of people, A, and if I have the right number, do they have the skills to produce everything I want them to produce? <coughs> it's not a matter of what I want to do, it's also what I can get out of my production line. Mm -hmm. So you, you have nothing to lose by asking, as long as we take all of those factors into consideration. Because we don't have a professional kitchen, it's not like we're going to Marriott or Weston and say, let's go, do this. Yeah, but true about 60 people. So the idea we get there is just to making sure that we have a high and low, but I can tell you, we love the challenge, okay? But the challenge, <coughs> hi, this is for you. We love the challenge, okay? But the challenge that we want, it has to be feasible. There is no way, if you're going to join my student and we go this way, I'll sit in there for the first meeting, but if I see that we are going to set up for failure, stop, because, that will not work for these reasons, okay? And this is for the good, for your function. And most of the time, we'll let you free. But, you know, it's just like, there's speed limit on the Queensway, the same way speed limit on this for, for the safety, for yourself. We need some boundary we can work with, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You may not want to hear it, but that's what it is. No, but I was going to the bar, we were going to use ice cream for our drink. You can definitely use that. It's just a question of do I have the kitchen to prepare it or do I buy that myself? Yeah, that's yeah, what I wanted to know. You have, when it comes down to the bar, you can do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with another class. Whereas yeah. the yeah. culinary side, we're using another class. The bar is you. You're the bar manager. You can put two people, three people behind the bar, train them on your recipes. Yeah. No, it's, it's not a question we don't want to do the ice cream. Is this visible to serve? I know I'm saying yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, yes, I. Well, why do you want ice cream? For that? Is, is that like, like, well, you, ice cream? you want the kitchen to make ice cream? No. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was just asking. No. Yeah. Okay. So, no shame. Thank you. Yeah. Full friendly. Bar, you can do whatever you like. Yeah. No worries. Okay, next on the road, what I'll do is um, I'll give you the list of the protein. Yes. And also, I'll give you the list of the students, uh, chef, and the, and the chef, and the chef, chef as well. Exactly. And uh, we can go from there. And uh, whenever you do your meeting, uh, just make sure you give enough notice because, as you know, our schedule are not the best this semester. It's a bit all over the place. And uh, you need no time to, to do this. Okay, if you're going to do your first meeting, I'm sure you want all be involved in the first one, or most of you. 
But after that, if you can reduce the amount, because you're going to need to speak more often. Our goal is to make you happy. Okay, that's basically that's what it is. It's to make sure you have a great evening and you're going, you're living here, fly high, that's just fantastic, and we're happy. And we have an amazing professor. Thank you. Yes, here's the Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? No? We're good? Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you.